Did you just get an email from Shopify about needing to update a DMARC record for being able to send emails out through your Shopify account? It can seem a little daunting at first, but I promise it's not hard. It's gonna take about two minutes to get set up. So let me switch to my computer now and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So we are in my Shopify store now. I went to settings and then notifications. And now you can see here that we have not actually authenticated this email domain. So we need to do that first before we add in the DMARC record. So I'm just gonna click on authenticate your domain. And it's give me, going to give me some different information that I need to set up for different CNAME records with my domain provider. So I'm just going to log into my domain provider, which for me is Bluehost. And I'm gonna go into the C panel area. This is going to be different for every single domain provider, but you just want to go in and get the domain that you're wanting to edit, which is here and go into the cPanel DNS settings to add in these new records. You can see here, we've just got a couple records that have got it all connected to our Shopify store. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in a couple more. So I'm going to click on add record and C name. And then I'm going to go back here to copy what the settings are. So copy this host name and click other host, paste in the host name there and go back, copy the value, put it in the next field here and set this up for an hour. I'm going to click add and I'm going to repeat this process for the other three as well. Okay, so now we've got that set up and it's going to take at least 24 hours, as you can see here, for all of our new records to start showing up as well as it to show up in our Shopify account that we've authenticated the domain. So you can see here again, it's gonna take 24 hours to start showing that up. So you can go back in and check in on that later. We can go ahead though and add our DMARC record in as well and go ahead and get that configured. So we're gonna go back to our control panel here. And this time we're going to click on add record and we're going to add a TXT record. I've got a link listed below this video that has this Google account for your different policy information, as well as the step-by-step -step of how to add in the DMARC record. And I'm just going to be copying some of the settings that they have here. So first off, I'm going to copy this DMARC and come back in here and again, say other host put that in here. My domain provider actually already adds in my domain that I'm wanting to do that for, but if yours doesn't, then you may need to add that in as well. And you can see an example of that here. So again, it's already adding this, my domain name and the .com, but if yours doesn't have that set up, you'll need to add that in. Next, we're gonna add in the record value. So I'm just gonna copy this from the Google doc here, and I'm going to go back in Oh, looks like I had an extra space there. Gonna go back in and paste that in here. And I'm just gonna be changing out the domain information. So I'm gonna make this my own. And I'm gonna have this be the hello email address. So if there's any reports, it is sent to this email address. But everything else will just keep the same here. Just change the email. And again, set that up and click add. Now, again, this can take more time to authenticate. You can go in though and check and make sure that it is all set up. I'll have a link to that below of how you can check after that 24 hour period that everything is set up correctly. I hope you found that quick video tutorial helpful and you're able to quickly set it up for your store. Again, not hard to do at all. If you wanna check out more video tutorials that I have all about Shopify and how to start and grow your online store, check the uh, video playlist over here and get started.